Greetings, I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech. The sun is up. It's pretty, pretty up. It's fair, fairly up. Can I see the? Oh, I can. Look, there it is. That's our uh, solar panels up there, and they're pointing right at the sun, just as they should be doing. So cool. Getting 98.2% efficiency. I'm happy with that. All right. That makes me happy. We've got uh, Izzy's running. We've got we're 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 doing good. I'm happy with this. Um, what I want to do next is I want to see how we're doing with like uh, materials, like not not the not the components, but the ores. So I'm gonna put up another panel. Let me grab some parts, and I'm think I'm just gonna throw it up there. Why not? Okay, fly. There we go. You know, I am dash main. I think, I think that's right. And then, no, that's not right. It's I am inventory, isn't it? It's, I always forget these every time. Yeah, it's I am inventory. Oh, and main is not capitalized. I think that might be part of the problem. Oh, it actually did work. Except for I need to do inventory and yeah. What do you say? There we go. This gives you all the instructions, which is kind of nice. And so in this case, I'm going to do uh, custom data and I'm going to do is it ingot or ingots? It's ingot. And we can see we've got a tiny bit of gold. We've got plenty of cobalt, plenty of iron. Basically no magnesium. And we have zero platinum. It's not even listed. So I kind of want to find some platinum. We have, we have no platinum. And as it just so happens, right over there, PT and I, there it is, right over there, 500 meters away, we've got a uh, um, some platinum. So what I want to do is run over there. Just, just top off. I'm gonna run over there, and we're gonna. Ooh, oh wait a minute. Hang on. Before we do that, uh, I just remembered we we were in a rush at the end of last episode, and I was not able to actually uh, turn this into an airlock. And I kind of want to turn that into an airlock. We just start with a poor man's airlock. I think I think that's probably a good idea. So. Sliding doors are wonderful because they have an empty space on one side. And so if I grab this and I slap that in like that, then I can step in here, close that, open that, and we lose just a tiny amount. It doesn't look like it, but we don't really lose any oxygen. If I close this, open that, see it's still high warm. It's just It was just a tiny amount of oxygen we lost. We're not like, you know, depressurizing the entire base. So, uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good for now. All right, let's go take a look and see how. F I mean, we we know it's 500 meters away. I didn't even bring. I didn't even bring a drill. Okay, hang on. I'm just gonna grab like a drill so I can see how far away it is. That's all I care about. This guy, and this should show us, yeah, platinum, 52 meters. If I get to just the right spot, it might even be 52 even. Oh, yep, there you go. Ooh, actually, 51.9 for a split second. So straight down from this point. Uh, let's do this. I'm going to clear out a little bit of space here. Kind of, this also just shows me where I am. So... Straight down from there is platinum. Really kind of want to actually build like a mining rig in this area since we're so close to the base. It's tempting actually to run a line all the way from there back to the main base. Where's my main base? There it is. Like to actually run piping all the way from here. I mean, why not, right? 
a little mining outpost over there. All for platinum? Hmm. Do I want to do that for platinum? I mean, I'll end up getting nickel and, of course, all the trace stuff you get out of stone. Which would be nice. And I'd, provide, I'd be providing all the power and storage and all that kind of thing. The other thing I could do is build, like, a mining vehicle to go over there. And then I get to reuse the mining vehicle, too. Yeah, okay. Mining vehicle. I haven't done a mining vehicle in a while. I think it's time. Like a flying vehicle. Something that, that flies. So, realistically, I'm never going to use this ship again. Like, it, it, let's be honest. It was a nice way to get off of the Earth-like planet over there and get to here. But it's really basic. Should I just grind it down and get rid of it? Or I could keep it as kind of a keepsake. But if I'm going to do that, I want to get it out of the way. Should be able to turn off parking and woohoo, look at that. Nice. This is where it lives now. That's it. Thruster's off. We're done. Bye. You, you live here now. Unless I feel like moving you again in the future. And then now, we're going to make a mining ship right here. So the way that I like to build my ships, I put something down. Like this. And then I will attach the... I'll attach the connector, because I always want a connector on my ships. Ah, now I'm out of parts. No? Unable to place connector. Why you... Oh! Ah. That doesn't work, because I have attached this to that instead of that, and there's a piston on here. So let's uh, extend the piston. It's going to make it a little bit simple. And then we can attach like that, and now we should be able to put this connector on. There we go. Excellent. And then if we pop into the control panel and we say lock, we can actually remove these two parts and all is good. Also, I'm going to go ahead and name this. We're going to call this Drill ship connector. That's super exciting. Perfect name. All right. And then I'm actually going to pull this back in because I want to make sure that we can uh, connect this up. The idea is going to be that we will dock it in and then retract the piston and pull it into place, and it should line up perfectly with this walkway. That's that's my goal. This is going to be a big boy. This is not going to be a small drilling ship. I'm kind of wondering if I'm going to want to have this as a downward drill. Like, I fly over a spot, lock in, and then the drills extend. I actually came up with an interesting design idea at one point in time that I would love to try. I never actually built it, but it just popped into my head and I want to try it out and uh, sorry my hydrogen was getting low so I needed to fill that up so I think this would be a good ship to try that out on let's let's do that I've got I've got this idea in my mind uh, but we're gonna need to do some building first so I'm gonna put in a connector there because I'm probably gonna end up needing to connect sorry conveyor. I meant conveyor. I'm going to put in the conveyor on the connector and I'm probably going to end up wanting to connect other things to this. Uh, we're definitely going to need a lot of storage. So let's go ahead and put in a large cargo container. I think, ooh, that's going to be too large. Let me see. Yeah, that's too large. Is that... Well, unless... Uh, no, that's only one block space. I would have to do, like, stairs up. I need, I want a, uh, yeah, that's not going to work. There. One more like that. 
I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna build something, and then we're gonna tear tear this whole thing apart, and then we'll find out whether that's what we want. But I could actually have this could be, you know, where I walk in, and then steps up, and then actually have the uh, bridge up here. I think I'm gonna build the actual mining system and then build the rest of the ship on top of that. And I'm not going to think about where storage is quite yet. Now, my idea for how this uh, this drilling system is gonna work is that basically I'm going to have a series of hinges and pistons. So, piston, or hinge, slash, oh, can't go, do your thing. It's actually kind of a good demonstration right there. Uh, let's let's do this. You get out of the way, and then I should be able to put a hinge on this. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to put a piston there, am I? Nope. But the idea is that I'm going to have hinge piston, hinge piston, and it'll just it'll unfold. Have you ever seen those? Um, those grabber arms. Look, I'll put one on the screen right now. Th those things. Yeah. And they kind of hinge and piston. Out, well, I mean, except for they don't normally have a piston on them. But the but the double hinge thing where they kind of collapse in and then stretch out. If we were to put pistons on that, then we can go even further. And we can still collapse it into a fairly small space. Fairly small space. And maybe that's what I need to do. I mean, it still has to collapse into a space. No, actually, I need to go higher than that. So this needs to go at least 60 plus meters into the ground. Each hinge and piston combination is going to be 15 plus another 2.5. It's going to be 17.5 meters at full extension. So I would need three, like four of those. That's a lot of, that's a lot. That, that's, that's going to have to go. That's, mm-hmm. So we're going to have to collapse into a pretty small space here. Oh, what, what am I, what am I doing to myself? This is, this is not a good idea. Also, I need to make sure... I, I'm going to undo this again. It's going to be a lot of doing and undoing, right? Um, one of the things I want to make sure that I do is get all of these zero markers. So, you see that little dash there? That points toward the negative side. Does that, I think it's the negative side. Now I'm forgetting. One way or another, we want them all to be pointing in the same direction. It's going to make programming this after the fact a whole lot easier. So we're going to make sure that that dash points in the direction that we're going to go to extend it. All right. That's going to fall down there. And I'm not going to be able to put all these on because, like I said, this needs to go 60-something meters when I'm done. Um, so this one, come on, this one's going to extend, is that right? No, as this, as this lifts up, it's going to collapse in that direction. Okay, okay. I'm going to weld all this up real quick. That is all welded up. Now, if we were to extend those right now, we would go from 5 meters to 15 meters. Then you add on the 2.5. And we can't really add that one on, so we'd look at, be looking at 30. 32.5 from this point right here. That doesn't help. 
we have to actually do it from the bottom. So, but it's 32.5 minus 7.5. So we're looking at like 25 meters from the bottom of this right here. So we basically have to more than double that, at least double that. And then we might have to add on a little more. But if we have to just keep making this ship taller and taller, that's fine. And then I can I can actually just drill out a space in here for it to sit. Matter of fact, we don't need this anymore. Just... I think I did I think I built that between episodes just to make that more stable because it kept bouncing around. Um but uh yeah. So the idea is is that when this collapses, let's do this. So the two hinges, um, I'm going to guess that that hinge, the first one, let's see, I'm just going to put numbers on here and then we'll fix it if it's wrong. So hinge two, I'm going to put just a little bit of, nope, positive, okay. So hinge two, I got them backward, yep, yep, no surprise. So this one should be positive, and then, thank you. But I don't want you going that far. Inch one, please stop. Go the other direction. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay, you're fine. It's currently at negative 16. That's fine. We want the upper limit to be zero. And then now we can actually put some positive on that. There we go. This guy, hopefully, if I did my, if I arranged them right, then hinge to the, I believe, positive should go in the right direction. So positive is down. Okay, and I want the upper limit to be, oh, no, I got the, I got it backward. Darn it. Oh, well. I'm going to set the lower limit to zero. Wait, no. No, no, because if that was, no. Jeez. I got it right. I got it right. I just wasn't thinking right. Hinge two should be upper limit zero. And it's, oh, it's moving into position. Okay, that's good. No. 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 I see what I, I, I see what I did wrong. I, I see, I see, I'm, I am saddened by my ineptitude. Hinge two, it should be lower limit zero. Because that is where it's going to be when it's fully extended. However... This is where it's going to be when it's all collapsed. Yeah. Because we are going to have another one of these guys right here. That not. There we go. Hinge. Yes. So now there should be another hinge in here. Old hinge. This is now hinge three. And we're gonna do wrong direction. So the lower limit. No. No, no. Going positive. And I'm just I'm just giving up on them he's actually being right. Uh, the lower limit is going to be zero. So this is going to collapse into that position, and then we're going to have two more hinges on here. Yeah, I, I'm not going to get these right. I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to... We're just going to slap them on there. We'll figure it out later. As long as we get the 
maximums, you know, the 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 limits, the limiters on correctly, it's going to be fine. Yeah, okay. And then so now let's set 3 There we go. Okay, so that's that's going to be 15 30 45 energy low. Ay ay ay. Keep having to go back inside here. I can actually go here. Turn that off. Just use this. Doesn't help very much with the power. Come on, power. Forever. Oh, I missed my large one. Okay, mental note. It's faster to go inside. So yeah, I think if we actually make one more of these go uh, this direction, and then another one go back, and then I want to recreate this entire system on the opposite side. And then the two will work together to make it nice and stable. So we'll end up with one, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. I think, I think we'll end up with ten of these stupid things on one side. So I'm going to have 20 hinges and 10 pistons, but it'll have enough length to be able to I think if I do it right, it should have an, it'll be, have enough length to be able to go down to even the deepest. Is this downright silly? I feel like it's a little bit downright silly. Yeah, it's, it's definitely silly. So perfect. Uh, this is gonna be the top. So let's work on some other things, and I'll end up, I'll put all these together, um, like, kind of off camera, just because that's a lot of back and forth. And, but let's figure out what we're going to do on the top of this thing. And I think what I want to do is have, I want to have some stairs that go up one into a little airlock, and then we're going to have maybe actually two. And then we'll have a uh, little bridge up on top of this guy. I'm also kind of thinking that would it make more sense to have these as uh, cargo containers? I mean, yes, it would. Okay, so if we just do something like this, I'll keep those together. We should be able to pull that off, that off. I can't, I can't replace that conveyor without replacing this entire system. Um, but I can replace this one if I do another... Why is it not letting me do that? Am I, I'm out of steel plate. That's why. Okay, fine. I don't care. Maybe I just won't do it. Maybe it'll just be the one. One steel plate. Done. I should be able to take this off. Haha. <laughs> and I can remove that. There we go. So now we have three car containers right there. That's good. Ooh, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a big project. Wouldn't mind having a full size assembler. That'll allow me to build, like, kind of what I need when I need it, if you know what I mean. But it'd be a lot easier if I had a camera right here. Like, if I, if I put a camera right there... Then that allows me to actually, like, dock with ease. Because I can line it up with that line right there. So what I could do is put the assembler right there 
And that kind of acts as my walkway. Yeah, I like that. And that way, as I'm walking out, I can grab stuff easily from the assembler. And then I can put in a, let's see, some stairs. Not those stairs. These stairs. That. Grab parts? No. No, that doesn't work. This used, you used to be able to grab stuff from this. I don't know when they broke it, but you used to be able to grab stuff right there. It was really nice. Is there nowhere else to grab things these days? Okay, fine. Had to go all the way down. Okay. There we go. So this will go up to here. And then I want to go up one higher because I don't want... Because what I'd like is to have, like, something actually solid on top of this. There we go. And my bridge will be at this level right here. I wonder if I'm going to be able... Will I be able to actually attach a block to that? Put it there? Can I put... Yes. Yes, I can. So that's actually attached to those stairs. Now, eventually, it's going to be attached to more <laughs> than just those stairs, but we can at least get a start from there. That's good. Okay. Okay. I'm okay with this. Is the sun going down? I think the sun is hitting... Oh. I think the sun is getting close to that uh, horizon. So it kind of kind of falls into the... the, the armpit of that hill over there, that little mountain. It's good to know where that your sun rises and falls. That thing's still doing its work. Speaking of which, I really should expand the solar. Right now it's just four panels. It's been enough for so far, but um, it would be pretty easy. Oh, and I have to show you this trick. If you haven't seen this before, let me just do this real quick while the sun is still up. Just so that we can see how it works, because it's amazing. One, two, three, four. We're going to put on four more panels, and we're going to put them on without using any additional space. I love this. Panel there. Panel there. Panel there. And we'll put one more over here. Now you would think, okay, well, obviously this isn't going to work, right? Check this out. One, two. It's going up. That's still at four. Yes, both of these panels are functioning. Both of them are gathering 100%. And I have checked, tested this more than once. It is actually increasing the uh, the power input. I left us with lots and lots of room, so it's really not that big a deal for us. But there are times when, you know, you don't have a whole bunch of rooms for solar panels. And yes, you can double them up like that. I just call it an upgrade. That's what it is. It's just an upgrade. So we just doubled our solar input without changing our footprint. Ooh, let's see if it uh, reorients itself. Because the solar script actually does this thing where it will rotate toward where the sunrise is once it figures it out. And I'm not sure if I've ever seen it work. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Also, these are still getting full power, and they will for a little while because, as far as um, as far as space engineers is concerned, that's not. It's it's getting light through that mountain, and it won't stop getting light until the sun is about there. It it's not perfect. It's not a perfect game, but it's you know, it's good nonetheless. Oh, there it goes. So now these guys should 
reorient themselves to where the sun is going to rise, which, if I remember correctly, it's about there. So we're going to see if it points to about there. Okay, I was off a little bit. About there. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. Yeah, it did exactly as advertised. Love it. So now, the sun will come up right there, and it'll be all ready to start gathering sunlight. Uh, so, with the sun down, I'm going to go ahead and spend the night working on this. And I know, I know you guys like to see all the little things. I'm going to try to leave any kinds of decisions or difficult parts for, you know, for camera. But there's just going to be a lot of just you already saw just just more of what you've seen all right i'll see you in a bit it's actually i'll see like in seconds the 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 whole green line is going to move right whoosh and there we go the sun is a little ways from the horizon but i think i've got this fairly close to where i want to start making some decisions so the first thing i went ahead and like surrounded this upper part because I needed to be able to attach this somewhere. Um, this hinge does not connect into a conveyor. I could change that. No, I can't. No, I can't. I would have to completely rebuild this whole thing if I wanted to do that. So, no, this is never going to be a conveyor. Uh, not unless I decide to do crazy things. Which, you know, sometimes happens anyway um the other side is though so it doesn't really matter now i stopped right here because i realized that first of all we've got the length of the drills themselves which is 15 feet in and of its uh no not 15 sorry uh meters too i don't know what i'm thinking 7.5 meters uh i wanted to do a little test first though and I have a feeling that things are going to go horribly, massively wrong if I'm not careful. So first, I think what I'm going to do is throw just a single drill on the end of this guy here. Mostly because I have a feeling it's going to hit the ice down here. Oh yeah, it's definitely going to hit the ice down here. And I just would rather... I'd rather drill up some ice than lose too much. And we're not going to extend the pistons. I just want to make sure that the uh, the hinges are all going the right direction, which they probably will not. As a matter of fact, I kind of want like an emergency stop sort of thing. Yeah, I'm going to put in a button panel real quick as an emergency stop. And I'm going to group all of these hinges. I've got 16 hinges so far. We're just going to call these little ship hinges. Why not? And we're going to set that big red button to drill ship hinges um, reverse or just off. You just turn them off. No, nah, reverse. Whatever they're doing at the time I hit that button, I want them to do the opposite. I can almost guarantee it. Okay. I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to hit this big red button and hopefully... Oh, oh geez. Right. Right. Hang on. There's a thing I want to do first. There's a thing I want to do first. <laughs> uh, drill ship hinges. Share inertial tensor. That's going to make things bounce around a whole lot less and then if I set the uh, pistons I'll go ahead and do this wait I have other pistons I have this piston here uh, let's call this docking piston do you have any other pistons anywhere I don't think I do right this one's not connected so I don't have to worry about that yeah I'm not using pistons anywhere else okay and this should be eight total pistons. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that should be right. So, drill ship pistons. If we're gonna go ahead and bear inertial tensor on that. That should make things bounce a lot less. Let's go ahead and turn this on. 
It's definitely shaking around, but it's not like constantly doing horrible things. Okay, big red button. Let's see what happens. Should I save this game? Should I save? I'm gonna save. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the save button just to make sure. I don't really want to do that all over again. Ooh, that's very fast. That is very, very, very fast. Thank you. Oh, gosh. Oh. It was way faster than I wanted it to go. We're going to decrease the speed of those hinges a lot. We'll ship hinges. Oh, gosh. Some of these are negative. I hate it that some of these are negative. Because now all of the ones that are 1 need to go to, like, I don't know, 0.1? But all the ones... jeez. Oh, I need to mark all the ones that are negative is what I need to do. I'm just going to go in here and see this one's negative, so we're just going to put an N. Yeah, okay, so it's just... So this one... This one, this one, and this one are negative, so they need to be set to negative point one. So it's a tenth of the original speed. All the rest all the rest of them need to be set to point one. Okay. Let's see if that works any better. Talk that on. Hit this button and we're gonna be ready to stop it very quickly. But that... That seems to be doing exactly what I was hoping it would do. Oh, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, is that not gorgeous? Okay, that's... That's gonna hit right there. Hang on. Stop. Stop. Oh, that's just beautiful. So now the question is, if this is still gathering... Uh oh It broke something. <laughs> I think? Maybe? Fuel low. My fuel is low. Yeah, if that's... that's not really gathering anymore... Um, which means that something is broken. Ah, yeah, there it is. That hinge part is broken. I think if I... There we go. That should empty that out pretty quickly. Yeah, there we go. That should be... Yep, yeah, that's good. Look at that. And here comes the sun. Perfect timing, sir. Look at that. Okay. So when that was... When that was all the way down here... Wow. Um, just by itself. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And I'm not going to count the ones that are up there because those basically are here. Fifteen times two point five is. 15 times 2 is 30. And, and then another 7 and a half. 30, 37 and a half. Good grief. 37 and a half meters down. Just without even using the pistons. And then the pistons add 10 more each. So that's 47, 57. 67, and then that, no, and the other ones, look at 77 meters. We're looking at a 77 meter extension on that. That I can live with. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. So we're going to do one, two, three, and then we're going to stick this and go one, two, three, and we're gonna put one more in the middle, 
and then these two sides are not connected to each other because, you know, they're on completely different grids. They're just near each other. But we can fix that with a merge block. This and that. Yeah, like that. And then you might be wondering why I'm putting a welder here. No, you're not. You're not wondering. You've watched. You've watched enough of my stuff to know why I'm putting a welder there. Because I'm lazy. Oh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Silly me. Because there's no connector. Yeah, I need to connect these two first. Which means I need to go and grab some parts. All right, put this. Those are now locked together. And now that's one grid. And now I should, because of that being one grid, I should be able to do this. There we go. Because drills are like... Like, I have to make two trips for each drill. That's, I don't have a whole lot of inventory space in this game. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. So now, if I hit this... Uh, oh, wait. First, I need to combine all these drills. Uh, drill ship drills. And... Ooh, that's loud. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and set this button right here. To drill ship drills... Toggle block on off. There we go. Let's hit this red button. Oh. <laughs> and just for you, Jeremy, here's a time lapse. Oh, that was beautiful. Look, look at this. Look at this. And something broke. <laughs> Maybe. Either that or I'm just completely full. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, boy. Thi oh, oh, no. We are... I think we're full. We are... Wait. Yeah, we're full. That's why. Oh, my word. Man, I thought I... Didn't I set that? Oh, I set the middle one. Okay. You can turn off now. That's fine. Okay. Wow. So this is processing stone as fast as it can and it's getting just instantly refilled constantly that system worked perfectly and just imagine if we extended because we didn't even touch the pistons that this is brilliant okay i mean this is i know i'm calling myself brilliant i shouldn't do that but i i mean right now i'm pretty happy with that i'm sure i'm not the first person to make that design but that there's plenty of smart people out there, I'm sure, have come up with that, but I didn't find that from anybody else. I came up with that on my own. I, I just, I'm really happy with that. That is... <laughs> I love this. And now the next thing I'm going to do is build a ship around that. But I think that's going to have to wait for next episode, because this took a lot of time. Well, and the thing is, uh, I'm going to be putting more drills on that. That's not the last drill that's going to go on that. Oh, and here's that fun little bug. You hear those drills still turning? Yeah, they're not turning. Like, what if all along here was individual cargo containers? Can't do this one. This, this kind of bugs me that I didn't think ahead and make this a conveyor just in case. I really don't want to completely redo that, but there is no way that I can think of because this block would have to be the merge block. There's only one place on this. Oh no, wait, what am I thinking? There is a way to do this. Oh, there's a very simple way to do this. 
oh, I can, I can fix this. Okay, this is gonna be the last thing we do for this episode. I'm gonna get these out of the way just so that they're not in my way. And we're definitely gonna save before that we do this because this could go horribly wrong. Uh, the merge block is not the only way to connect two grids. Oh, oh, bye. I didn't, I didn't need you anyway. Okay, um, that that's down there now. It's fine. So if I remove the not the hinge, I want to remove the hinge. Is it the hinge? Yes, it is the hinge. And then we're going to throw conveyor junction. Actually, it it will let me do this. So I'm putting this... That's, what, what, is, what did I put there? I wasn't paying attention. That was not what I wanted. I wanted a conveyor junction. Yep. Grab the wrong stuff for a conveyor junction. So we're going to put this here, and as much as I would like to, but it won't let me, I'm sure of it, is to put a hinge right here, but that's that's not going to work. Instead, I need to extend this a little bit. So let's set up um, drill ship hinges and hinge lock. I think should do it. So if I hit... If I hit the big red button, and then I hinge lock, yes, okay. So I'm gonna let those go down a little bit. Yeah, that, yep, go a little ways. I just need that top one to be out of the way. It's, or I need to be able to move it out of the way. So that should be good. Let's go ahead and hinge lock that. And then I need hinge, uh, 2B. We're going to turn off the hinge lock. And, oh. And it'll go up and... Yeah, that makes sense. That's fine. That's fine. So I'll let that do that thing. I'm just going to go and refill my hydrogen. I really should be carrying a bottle, but the bottles, they take up a lot of space. And when I'm building, I don't like to carry bottles. That is all. All right. And then in a moment, that's going to be out of the way, and I'll be able to place a hinge here. Yeah, like that. Good. And then the hinge part, we're going to remove. Then, needs to go reverse. Oh. Yeah, I need to name this new hinge, which is currently called hinge 5, but it should be 1B. Then I'll be able to tell this hinge to reconnect to that part, and voila, we will actually be reconnected without having to rebuild half of the ship. Hooray! And then that gives me a lot more flexibility in the future. Hinge 1B is detached, 2B is at 90 degrees. If I go back to 1B, I should be able to hit attach, and we are good. Sweet. There we go. We're back to working ship. Now, I could go and do the same general thing with all the other ones that are negative. It's so like, you can see one of these is wrong. Because these should be in opposite positions, these little ticks. So now, if I connect, if I use these conveyors and I just go cargo containers all the way along, that could be my storage. I kind of like that idea. I mean, I'd rather have a large storage, right? But sometimes the design of the ship just doesn't you know, work with that. There we go. Okay. 
So, that's enough for an episode, isn't it? You guys, you guys had enough of me yet? So, I'm gonna throw a uh, welder onto each one of these, every other one, and get these all welded up. And then next time, we're going to turn this scissor drilling system into an actual ship. Actual, actual ship, like a real flying, fly over to where the platinum is and sit down on top of it and hit the button to make these things go and get a whole bunch of stuff kind of ship. It's a, that's a long title for a ship, but you know what? It's a long, awesome ship that deserves a title. Tell me in the comments. I want to hear what you think so far, but I want your feedback on what, what, what should I do with the design of the ship? And hey, we need a good name for this. Like, I, I don't know, like, I mean, it could be like the scissor lift ship, except for it's not a scissor, scissor lift, it's a scissor drop, scissor, scissor miner, scissor, scissor mining ship, the SMS. <laughs> it's a, it's an SMS, because, <laughs> you know, like, like, text messages. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to go now, uh, because I, before I make any more jokes like that and um i hope you enjoyed it that's all i'll see you next time on epic tech do they even call it smsing anymore i mean does it does it it's not even smsing or is it it's mms and and actually the there's a newer thing sms is like really old i'm old i'm really old i should know better <laughs>